How can we keep your chain running efficiently and prolong its lifetime? Well, the answer is simple. Keep it clean and well lubricated. It all sounds pretty simple so far, doesn't it? But it can be contradictory when you consider that your lube can act as a dirt magnet. So here's some top tips for degreasing and lubing your chain. So you're going to need a paintbrush, wet lube, a rag or cloth, a small screwdriver and degreaser. Before you clean and lube your chain, make sure you have a clean bike. Click here for our five minute bike clean video. Clean your chain often and well. Leave the chain on the bike and use plenty of good quality degreaser to get all the dirt and old oil off. A paintbrush with some degreaser is the best combination. You can also use a cut down water bottle which can be placed in the seat tube bottle cage. This keeps the degreaser close at hand and also reduces the chance of it getting spilt. Clean the rings, jockey wheels and sprockets too. If you still have dried muck stuck in the sprocket, use a small screwdriver to help to remove this. Wash the degreaser off and dry the chain with a clean cloth before lubricating. Lubricate the chain with a good quality bike specific lubricant. You need to apply enough lubricant to flow into the space between the rollers and the side plates. Run the chain round a few times and change up and down the gears to get some oil on the sprockets. Next, wipe off the excess with a rag, pulling the rag along each section of the chain. Take care not to get any lube on brake rims or discs. For the majority of conditions, the Great Britain cycling team use a wet lube. Wet lubes penetrate the chain and get to the crucial roller pin interface and stay wet, stopping rain and mud getting into the chain. But they do attract dust, so wipe off any excess. Dry lube reduces the attraction of dust by using a light solvent carrier to get the friction reducing additives into the chain, the carrier evaporating once it's done its job. But experts say that the additives aren't as effective as wet lubrication. If you choose to use wet lube all year round, in summer spend a little more time wiping off the excess and a bit more care applying less of it in the first place. And finally, check your chain stretch. Now this isn't actually stretch, but wear to the chain pins and the internal surface of the roller, making the chain longer, hence the term stretch. You'll need a chain checker to do this, but they don't cost too much. The simplest ones slot into the chain and measure 0.75% extension on one side over the nominal original length and 1% when flipped over to the other side. 0.75% extension means your chain is showing signs of wear and you should start thinking about getting a replacement. 1% means you need to change your chain for a new one or you'll quickly wear out your chain rings and cassette so it does save you money further down the line. So by following these four simple steps for degreasing, lubing and checking your chain, you'll be prolonging the life of your drivetrain. Click up here for more British cycling maintenance tips or down here for British cycling strength exercises.